Hello, I'm Tilly May. We know that a virtual event like this isn't the same as visiting our school in person, meeting our teaching staff, our students and asking questions. We hope this frequently asked questions will help answer any questions you may have. Based on the information we receive from primary schools and other educational data, we divide the cohort into teaching groups. In English and Maths, we set students according to their ability, again based on the Key Stage 2 data and their teacher assessments. We also set students in Science, Geography, History, Modern Foreign Languages, Citizenship and Religion, Philosophy and Ethics. In terms of other subjects, those classes will be mixed ability. Those subjects are Art, Design Technology, Drama, ICT, PE and Music. At Colgio School we constantly review students' progress and the teaching groups that they are in in order to ensure that they are in the right place for their continued learning. At Colgio School we study a broad and balanced curriculum. We want our students to be successful learners, confident individuals and responsible citizens. From Year 7 we have a wide foundation of subjects. In Year 7 there are lots of subjects. Students will study English, Maths, Science, Geography, History, Modern Foreign Languages, Citizenship, Religion, Philosophy and Ethics, Art, Design Technology, Drama, PE, ICT, and music. We've also recently amended our Key Stage 3 curriculum in order to ensure that it is exciting and engaging for our students. Not only that, we wanted to make sure that our students had the skills and the knowledge that they required to be able to go on and be successful in their future education and employment. And although our Year 7s have only been with us for a short period of time, they really have done well with the new curriculum. They are making excellent progress and they have said they have found it very fun and very exciting. Also in terms of the curriculum, we provide additional literacy and numeracy for those students whose basic skills may just need a helping hand. Moving forwards into Year 9, students will have their options. They will choose to specialise in certain subjects depending on their needs and their preferences. Again, the curriculum is broad and balanced and we offer a wide range of subjects. We offer the EBAC, creative subjects and vocational subjects. Vocational subjects include health and social care, child development and also animal care. There are also some subjects that students may not have had the pleasure of studying, such as photography, business, media and engineering. Students will choose four option subjects. They will then also have the choice of choosing whether they want to study the separate sciences, which is biology, chemistry and physics, or whether they would like to do the double award. In Year 9, we also offer additional English and Maths. Students in Year 9 will receive four English and Maths lessons and this is in order to prepare them for their GCSEs. In Year 10, students will continue to receive those four lessons of English and Maths. And looking at the final key stage, key stage 5, Colgio also has a fantastic sixth form where lots of our students continue their educational journey with us. We really, really do genuinely care about our students and are always eagerly awaiting the news of their successes in the future. And at Colgio School, we have got an outstanding pastoral system that I personally am very proud to be part of. And actually starts before children come to Colgio with our head of year seven, working very closely with our primary schools to help and support the transition. And by the time the children start, they're actually very familiar with the building and key members of staff. Upon arriving at Colgio, your child will be assigned a form tutor who they'll have for five their five years at school. 
and the form tutor will work closely and meet the children every day. And what we're trying to do is build effective relationships with parents. And if you ever need to contact your form tutor, you can do so whenever you want. And we work with the children and through our academic monitoring programme and our personal wellbeing programme, we can identify if children need support and help and we can provide that to them. And we also celebrate success. We have Learner of the Week, we have celebration parties for the children who have lots of achievements and we also offer trips and visits to children who continually get things right at school. At Colju School, we maintain high standards by ensuring that every student feels pride in their school community. We've established a positive climate for learning based around the celebration of student achievement. Pastoral teams run terminally reward events to celebrate the achievement within their learn groups. Parents are able to log on to our school network to view their child's achievements, but also to monitor behaviour and attendance. By working closely with our parents, our pastoral team is able to address any behaviour concerns that arise quickly and effectively. We want our students to achieve the very best that they can at Call Duty School. It's one of our key values. When they join us in Year 7, we use the information from the Key Stage 2 tests to set their GCSE target grades. In their lessons, students will complete key assessment tasks, which allow teachers to gauge what knowledge and skills are secure and what they need to do to progress further. These key assessments are graded, allowing the students, their parents and their carers to see whether the students are on track to achieve their targets. Throughout the year, there are a number of opportunities that we use to share information with you about your child's progress. Early in Year 7, we hold a tutor evening to discuss how your child has settled into college school. You'll receive an interim report showing for each subject whether your child is on track to achieve their targets. A full written report will also tell you whether your child is on track, but also includes specific strengths and areas for development for each subject. You'll have the opportunity to speak to your child's subject teachers at our Year 7 Parents' Evening. We'll also share your child's end of year exam results. Whilst these are the formal opportunities to share information about your child's progress, we would always encourage you to contact us at other times if you have any questions about your child's achievement. We use the information from the Key Stage 2 tests, your child's primary school and our own assessments to identify students who would benefit from additional support for literacy and numeracy. We have different packages of support based on what each student needs. Some students need additional literacy support throughout Key Stage 3. Some students need support for specific needs, for example our dyslexia support sessions give students strategies to allow them to fulfil their potential across the curriculum. Some students benefit from a series of short numeracy sessions working in a small group with our Maths HLTA on key number skills. Others work on problem solving and literacy within maths. Our one-to-one -one literacy intervention is also very successful with students reading aloud to staff. The additional literacy and numeracy support is built around what individual students need and we've seen our students develop their confidence as well as their fundamental skills which underpin all aspects of our curriculum. At Colju School, we have a well-established and comprehensive transition programme where the aim is to ensure that all our students feel part of the Colju community. We have very strong links with both catchment and non-catchment primary schools, resulting in collaborative working and approach to the transition of your child. We understand that the transition programme needs to meet the needs of every student. To do this, each year myself and other key members of the pastoral and leadership team will visit every single year six student in their primary school to discuss the transition pro process along with answering any questions the students have and to meet their class teachers. During the year we also host regular transition events including sporting events, music, drama along with maths and English enhancement programmes. In the summer term we run induction days for students and a year six parents evening to start to build strong family relationships which we value at Colju School with parents and students and also to support the parents with the transition of their children to Colju School.
The school library supports our students in a variety of ways. Encouraging students to read for pleasure is really important at Coldview and the library is well resourced to provide a wide range of reading material to cater for all interests, reading levels and ages. We make sure that we have the most recent releases from the most popular children's and teen authors and if students don't know what to choose we can offer expert advice and guidance to help them find something that suits them. We support curriculum requirements by providing relevant and up-to-date non-fiction print and online resources as well as a stretch collection of wider reading for students who want to develop and take their knowledge of a subject further. Our framework of skills for independent learning, FOSSIL, is designed to be delivered across the curriculum from year 7 right up until year 13. This equips students with the vital information skills they need to navigate a world beyond school of information overload. Sixth formers use the library during their study periods, with the choice of either a silent study area or a group study room. IT facilities are available in both, as is librarian support. Students in key stages 3 and 4 can also access support with their homework at breaks and lunch times. Another really important aspect of the library at Coldview is its social function. We provide a friendly, inclusive and welcoming space before school, at breaks and lunch times, where students can come and play board games, socialise with friends and with other library regulars, or just read quietly on a comfy chair. Weekly Book Club provides an opportunity to talk books and swap recommendations with other like-minded students, and our student librarian teams give our students the opportunity to volunteer and develop their confidence, leadership skills and real-life work experience. I know that one of the biggest things that parents can worry about is if they have students with additional needs of any kind, transition to big school can be very, very scary for them as well as for their children. Here at Coldview, we make sure that we offer a bespoke transition, and that can be anything from regular meetings with the child at primary, bringing them into the secondary school before they start so that they can have a look around, get to know the different staff, faces and names, get to know where all the different classrooms are, that can often remove a lot of their stress and anxieties. We make sure we work very closely with their primary teachers so we know what their bespoke needs are going to be. That might fall in with their literacy, with their reading and the writing, their processing skills, comprehension, right through to more complex needs where they need us to give them something very special so that they can be successful. We work very closely with the parents to make sure that we get all that input before our students join us so that their transition can be smooth, successful and they can be happy in the learning environment that works for them. So when looking at Coldew School, please don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any concerns. There is no concern too small and there is no question that we won't be happy to answer for you. About a third of the students who are in year 11 stay to the sixth form. It varies from year to year. They study a range of subjects, including English, maths and all three sciences. There are 24 subjects available. Popular subjects include psychology and law, which are new to students here at Coldew School. The students have specialist teachers and the students tell us that they enjoy having small classes having a deeper learning of their subjects and the discussions which occur during classes. The students have an induction programme which we put on for them to help them study or choose their subjects that they're going to study. Making sure that they've got the right combination is the sixth form team. So the form tutors will help them make sure that they've got the right combination, they've got the right qualifications to study those subjects and that they are on the right pathway for what they intend to do in the future. Form tutors also get to know their students very, very well, which means that they can help support them in their studies with time management and also with the outside pressures that they might have to do with part-time jobs and other activities so that they become a more rounded student by the time they leave us in year 13. During year, th year 13, Many of the students will apply through UCAS for universities. They might also be applying for apprenticeships. The sixth form team help them with that, making sure that their personal statements are as good as they possibly can do. And Alan James also plays an enormous role in this, making sure that students have got the right subjects to study their chosen uh, 
subject at university and the right qualifications in order to make that happen. There has never been a more important time for young people to get impartial careers advice and guidance. Fortunately, there is a wide range of opportunities and options to carry on studying. Students can choose from six former college and onto university or apprenticeships and further education courses. At Called You, we introduce careers from Year 7 within lessons and have an online careers platform available for all students to access. We know that by Year 9, students may not know what they want to do when they leave school. We ensure our students choose to study a wide range of GCSE options so that they can future-proof their career plans. We value the support work that external providers do, including Duke of Edinburgh, National Citizenship Scheme, Young Enterprise, Dream Placement, as well as further and higher education providers, and the many businesses and organisations that have strong links with our school. These opportunities alongside our work ready days and one-to-one -one career advice and guidance give our students the transferable skills that we know employers are looking for. And I've competed at College School at football, cricket and rugby. The sports facilities are really good and have a huge choice of activities available to try. We have a gym, sports hall, astro pitches, a tennis court, huge field for multi-sports and are also lucky to have our own long jump and pole vault. I've enjoyed that on top of my studies. I've had so many opportunities to take part in extracurricular activities, including the Duke of Edinburgh, a visit to CERN and my forthcoming trip to Borneo. Many students get a bus to Colgy School each day. We have around 16 buses that regularly bring students to Colgy School from both catchment and non-catchment areas. Students who live in Colgy's catchment will be entitled to a free place on the school transport scheme and should contact Cumbria County Council School Transport Service. For those who live outside of the catchment area, which is currently around 35% of our intake, we have several options for transport to and from school. Stagecoach also operate a dedicated school transport route from the south and east of the city. We are fortunate to have regular train services and bus services through the village as well as the cycle path running from Carlisle to Dalston.